If you cannot connect to your Wi-Fi on a Nintendo Switch 2 and you have the 2110-2202 error, then what helped me in order to fix this issue was I went to the internet settings on the Switch 2 console and then I tried to connect with the network so that I had it in saved network. So uh, even if you enter correct password, sometimes the error code may appear, the 2110-2202. So if you have the network in safe networks, then after that you want to select the network and go to change settings. And the first thing that uh, what I did is I changed the security. I switched from WPA2 personal to WPA3 and then I had to enter the password again. Then it didn't work, so I switched to WPA personal, entered the password again, and it didn't work as well. And then I switched back to WPA2 slash personal again. So this was my default setting, but I switched between these other options and then switched back to WPA2 personal, and it didn't work as well. So none of this helped, but of course, I'm just talking you through all these steps that I did in order to uh, perhaps help you solve the issue. So maybe if you do every step that I did, um, it will solve the issue for you. The next thing that I did is I enabled, make sure, made sure that this option is enabled, connect to a hidden network. So even if the network is not really hidden, I actually had this option disabled, so I turned it on. And then I had IPv6 connection enabled, sorry, I had it enabled, so I turned it off. So this is how it looked like. I had connection to a hidden network enabled, IPv6 connection ena uh, disabled, and also I just toggled and, dis well, enabled and disabled proxy settings. So even though I didn't really do anything over here, I just turned it on and back off. Uh, the MTU that I set up was uh, 1400, so this is the default value. And you can also try to use DNS settings uh, as a last resort if you actually know how to do this, but I actually didn't need to do anything about it uh, in order to make it work. So once I set it up like this, so I had WPA2 personal security, which actually depends on the network itself. And I enabled this option and disabled IPv6 connection. And after that, I just saved the network and I tried to connect and it simply worked. So this is what you can try to do and hopefully it will work for you as well. And what is kind of surprising is that uh, once I actually uh, made the connection, once the connection actually happened and it worked, if I switch back IPv6 connection and I save the network, I can once again just connect to it without any issues. So I'm not sure why it didn't work at first, um, but um, if you have these issues, then this is what you can do. Of course, uh, another reason why you may see the error is because of the incorrect password. However, I assume that the password is actually correct. And if that didn't help as well, you can also just uh, restart the console. So you can press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds. There we go. And then go to power options and you want to restart or even power off with a couple of seconds and turn the console back on. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.